Xbox Game Pass is getting major changes, and this could be the problem everyone saw coming as they're getting a massive price change. Buying up all these studios and making day one games had to have been an issue as they're now increasing prices as well as introducing new tiers. Honestly, pretty confusing. I'll try my best to summarize. First off, new Game Pass users will not be eligible for the current type of Game Pass, but if you are on Game Pass currently on console, you can keep your current sub. All that matters because they're moving to what's a standard tier, which is going to feature their whole backlog of all their Game Pass games, but it's not going to feature day one games. That does include the new Call of Duty Black Ops 6 later this year, whereas Game Pass Ultimate is moving up to $20 a month, and just the normal PC Game Pass increases to $12 a month. So it's basically price increases, and for your normal customer, if you want day one releases, you're going to have to pony up. And so is this a sign of Xbox struggles? Even the console increase may be a direct result of the exclusivity that Game Pass really is just exclusive to Xbox and their ecosystem. There has always been rumors of, is it going to go on Switch? Would they ever take it to PlayStation? And now we're going to have this $15 tier which is going to get you less than what ultimate offers you for the same price now no day one is a huge blow and i don't know a positive way to spin it and it almost feels like this is a last resort before they do the inevitable no more day one games ever but to be fair all of this is only an issue if day one games is your main selling point and why you buy it some people do just enjoy having access to the netflix style of just having all these games you can play and maybe you see this similar to netflix as just a typical price increase you get after a while even though we don't love it we know it happens these changes aren't planned till December the 12th, which gets you plenty of time to decide are you going to be staying within the Game Pass and Xbox ecosystem. 